Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am filming holding my phone. Um, my normal spot is a hot mess. We're in the middle of switching rooms around. So the playroom, what was the playroom is now the schoolroom and what was the schoolroom is now the playroom. And that's where my desk is. And I'm still debating if I'm just gonna leave it there because I mean, why not? My kids are there playing and I could be sitting there working. So, um, it's just a mess. There's a broken lamp. I have just stuff piled up on it. Um, we were, we've been building garden beds and all of the things. So <laughs> I just, I haven't had the time or the energy to really get anything done. Um, I'm dealing just with some health stuff. It's making me kind of depressed and just really unmotivated. Um, my gut health is all thrown off. Um, I just started a new system today. I can't tell you if it's working yet, but I bet you in three or four days once, um, cause you have to like slowly introduce stuff, like especially gut health and like when you're trying to get rid of like candia and um, get like your microbes and whatever they're called and all of the things back in balance. You can't just um, do all of the things because like your body is going to detox and that's what I'm going to be doing is detoxing um, and getting my gut health back. Um, yeah, so I don't know if I mentioned, so my labs were good but then one of the results didn't come in until later and it was that my good cholesterol is low. Um, my bad cholesterol is fine, but you need enough good cholesterol. So the products that I started will also help me with that. So that's really good because I have a hard time eating salmon. I have been trying to eat more avocados and other fish and stuff. Um, my weight loss is really slowed down. Um, and I really do feel like it is because of my gut health. Um, when your gut is, you know, your gut's your second brain. So when that's off, it's just, it kind of just, it throws everything off. So I need to get that back, excuse me, on track. And then I still like haven't really been working out very much. I mean, I do work out, I guess a few days a week. I try to either get on my bike or I do some resistant bands and stuff. Um, but it's just not as much as I was hoping to be at at this point. Um, but there's, I just have a lot going on. And that's okay. I just bit my tongue. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so that's just part of the ride of life and VSG itself is its own ride and then life is its own separate ride. And it's definitely just going in all different directions for me. Um, yeah, I've just, I've, I've been depressed. I've just been battling some stuff. Um, it's kind of why I've been MIA on here, but I'm hoping to just keep showing my face as much as I can for you guys. So please bear with me. Um, your guys' support really, really, really means a lot to me. And I truly appreciate. We got a new puppy and she's perfect. Luna, she, she's a cutie. Um, but I truly appreciate all of you. Uh, I will update you guys on my gut health, like little system and let you guys know if it is working, if it is helping me lose weight because I'm having an issue with that. I'm also having an issue with inflammation and I'm getting like the water I'm drinking and I'm getting puffy. My hands are getting puffy. Um, that's a big sign for me. Like, so it takes... 3,500 extra calories to gain one pound of fat. I know, darn good and all, that I am not eating that much extra, like I'm barely giving a thousand calories, that I know that it's not from fat um, and that it's inflammation in my body and water retention and all of the hormones and everything going on, like my hormonal acne is really bad, my PCOS and endometriosis is really bad right now. Um, and all those things are leaked to my gut, so I figured I'm just gonna start there, get some good gut health going, 
I'm switching my probiotic. So I've always been on a probiotic, but I've always just kind of been taking like a cheaper one. So I went and found a more holistic um, probiotic to start. And then like, I'm gonna be doing like a bio cleanse and there's like a drink that I'm gonna be drinking to help get like my, my microbes, whatever it is back in check and also this little system is going to help me absorb nutrients better so that's really good um i also am now taking vitamin d only once a week and it's a very very large amount like 50,000 units or something like that once a week um to get my vitamin d up there and i've also been trying to spend a little more time outside the last couple days the weather has been pretty good here where i live um like right now it's almost five and it's pretty sunny. So um, I've just been spending time outside. I've been trying to get some fresh air. I've been trying to get up and dressed. Um, I dyed my hair. I did like a balayage. You can't really see it because it's in a ponytail, but I did um, a balayage to my hair. My hair loss is still crazy. Like it was kind of not good that I dyed my hair, but I just needed it. I needed something different. So I just did it and figured, all else fails, I'll buy a wig. <laughs> um, I do have a little update on my BRCA1 for those of you that are interested. I finally got my MRI date. It is later this month. They have to kind of code, like do it like around your cycle. So like six days after your period, no later than 12. So that way you're not like, there's no chance of being pregnant um, at the time of the MRI, which, if I, if I was to get pregnant right now, I don't even know, you guys. Like, I have so much. Like, I don't even, I don't even know if I want another child. I mean, like, I do, but I don't. Um, so, to, if I was to get pregnant right now, oh my gosh, I just, I don't think that is the best idea. Um, yeah, so I have my MRI coming up. That's gonna really determine, like, how we move forward and how quickly. So, obviously, if they find something um, things are going to happen a little differently, but fingers crossed that there's no cancer, nothing worrisome, and that we can just plan for that six month double mastectomy, um, and do reconstruction, which is a couple surgeries for me. So, and that, that's a lot on its own too, but I'm hanging in there with that. Um, it's definitely gets on my mind and I have days where I can't like really function today's one of those days where like i got up i got dressed i wanted to get out of the house um and then we came back home and i just kind of let my kids do whatever and now i'm regretting it because i'm feeling really overwhelmed with the messes we also had a birthday party and those are all toys that need to have a spot and i just haven't felt up to putting Vinny, you're okay i'm putting things away and my kitchen that's my dining room table and it's just full of stuff and like I was on the road to minimalism and then like Christmas and birthdays happen and now I'm like get down help him please like you're just sitting there um Christmas and everything happened and just so you know he was literally just watching him cry sitting right next to him instead of just putting his hand on him guiding him to the floor he was this far away from the floor and didn't you know, like when you're almost touching the ground, but you're not, and you feel like you're so far away. That's how he was feeling, and that's why he was screaming. Um, yeah. No, 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 baby. Oh, you ruined. <laughs> so I, I was starting a painting just to try to like do something artsy and get my mind going, but my baby ruined it by putting stuff on it. I don't know what the heck it is. I can't have anything, you guys. I'm just yeah. So a hard time a hard time with my kids a hard time with my house a hard time with my health um <laughs> my life my eight-year-old just said so yeah i guess that's my update i'm gonna get off of here because i feel like i need to like not be doing this and focus on picking up my house because it's full of a nightmare Oh, and not to mention, I have actually I have a Zoom meeting that I have to get on for work, and then I also have to start dinner at some point. So, this is Katie's shit show. 
thank you for attending. <laughs> I am here and I am present, but life is just it's throwing a lot of lemons, guys, and I'm trying really hard to make lemonade. And it is just, do you know how many lemons it takes to make lemonade? Like, I think that's what I'm dealing with. <laughs> it's like, there's just a lot of lemons and a lot of work to make the lemonade, and I'm working through it. It's just, taking some time so if you are spiritual or prayerful or whatever put those good vibes out there for me pray for me and just my mental health really right now um it probably more so than anything I really need um some help in that area uh and I am not one to do medication so um I Unless, like, I really, really need it. And right now, I'm just trying to do more natural things. And it just hasn't all kicked in yet. So, we will get there. And we're going to try not to need prescription medicine. So, I'm very much a medicinal person. <laughs> I'd like, supplemental, medicinal. Like, those are the things that I do. So, I am still trying out those things. If they don't work, I will go see my doctor. But for the most part, it's just trying to get through a lot of hard days. That's all. Anyways, stay blessed, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.